Here's something I always recommend, learning a piano song on guitar and trying to mimic the piano line. All right, now I'm only going to go through the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. Okay, so the verse is... Okay, now what that is, is going to be a G, or a, I'm sorry, a D chord, and then removing my second finger up to this G, to this G note, third fret on the sixth string, all right? And this is going to be like a G sus 2 with an add 6. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's kind of neat to, uh, it's a neat sound right there, just going between that D and that G chord with only moving one finger, all right? Now the picking pattern... For that D chord is going to go my fourth and first string together. All right, I'm using my thumb on the fourth string, my third finger on the first string. I'm using my first finger on the third string, second finger on the second string. Now I'm going to hit them both again, both the fourth and the first string again. So that's fourth and first string together. Third string, use my first finger my second finger on the second string. Now I'm going to hit the fourth and the first string again. Now I'm going to go to a D sus2. Then I'm going to hit the second string. All right, so that is. Now it's going to be basically the same when I go to my G chord. All right, now that is going to be my, now my thumb is going to be moving down to my sixth string. And my third finger is still going to be on the first string. I'm hitting those together. Third string, second finger on the second string again. Sixth and first together. And then second string, third string, second, first. All right. So that G starts out. The first half is this. There we go. Now sixth and first together. Second string, third string, second string first string. All right, and that's going to give us that piano line. Now what's really neat is that uh, the pre-chorus is going to go a B minor to G, and then B minor to an E7, all right? So that B minor is basically going to be exactly the same as my D chord, only now my shape is going to be this B minor chord, this string bar chord on the second fret, but the picking pattern is going to be the same, so that my thumb has to move up to the sixth string, or to the fifth string, so thumb on the fifth string, third finger together, fifth and first together, third, second, fifth and first together. Take off your first finger or at the bottom and hit that open to my second finger on the second string on my right hand right here. So that is now the G is going to be exactly the same, not kind of the same. Now it goes to a B minor again. Great. Now that part is going to be, the B minor is exactly the same again. It's going to go E7 sus4 to an E7. All right. So now I am fingering that with my pinky on the second string, se uh, third fret, and my second finger is going to be on the third string, second fret. I'm going to be hitting both those, that third string and that second string with my second finger and my third finger. Going down to the first string and then going down to my E7, which is my pinky still on that second string third fret and my first finger is going to be on that third string first fret. All right. Now the chorus is going to go G, A, D major 9. All right, now I'm going to go G. I'm going to hit my thumb and my third finger together. And then my first finger is going to go on the fourth string, and my second finger is going to go on the third string. 
So, sixth and second together, fourth string, third string. Now I'm going to go to an A chord. This is going to go fifth, and my thumb's going to be on the fifth string. My third finger is going to be on the second string. Both those together, fifth and second. First finger is going to go on the fourth string. Second finger is going to go on the third string. All right. Now I'm going to. My third finger is going to go on the second string and walk down the chord. That G and A chord together. So next we have the D major 9, which is going to go a lot like my A chord. All right, this is going to be my fifth and my second string together, followed by my fourth and third string, using my first and second fingers of my right hand. Now I'm going to do that again, and then I'm just going to follow it off with a second string using my third finger and the third string using my second finger. So that's going to be. Great. All together, the chorus is.